Okay, well, I worked some more with the stubble fuel coil today, and I rewound uh, this little one with um, aluminum wire and the cotton covered copper wire. And this is on just a nail. And uh, put the gauze, the cotton gauze between the layers and all that good stuff. And the thing puts out 300 millivolts. <laughs> it just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't do what I want it to do, so I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing here and do more research as to what's going on. But uh, I did find out something today when I was uh, playing around with this thing, running it uh, just as a pulse motor, and that's just uh, the wires here connected uh, into a 3 volts this time and then a reed switch that I can run this as a pulse motor quite nicely, but it was drawn way up there around 300 uh, milliamps, and I was worried I was going to burn that little reed switch out, which they burn out pretty easy. So, uh, way back when, Johnny Davro and Sephiroth uh, and Travertebrate and a bunch of guys decided that they could reduce the amp draw on an SSG if they put a coil in the baseline circuit. And so the SSG circuits were uh, using a coil to reduce the amp draw. So I thought, well, I'll try that. So I got dug out a coil and put it in the uh, series with the battery and the reed switch to drop the, the amp draw down, and it did. But the coil that I used was in a transformer, and look what happened. I put that through a 12-volt transformer, and I got a light. <laughs> That's a 110-volt LED Lights of America running on 3 volts at 130 milliamps. It's 0 0.13 13 amps, 130 milliamps. And I got a bright LED light lighting up. And I, I didn't even know it was doing it until I reached over here by accident. I touched that and got shocked silly. And so I thought, well, I'll just put a light on it. And so there's the light. And so this stupid little coil here, when it uh, charges and collapses with that reed switch, puts out a tremendous spike that when you run it through a transformer, this is the uh, the bonus right there. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with people that uh, if you got a pulse motor, um, any kind of pulse motor that's using a reed switch, throw a 12 volt transformer in series, and you'll get a nice little light out of it. Thanks for watching.